Hello, this is Donovan with Beeswax, and welcome to my series on the TextMate bundle for FileMaker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate FileMaker objects on the clipboard. Let's begin with the basic FileMaker object. In this case, it's a script. You can see it's pulling in the script parameter and setting it to the variable field name. And then there's a series of if and else if statements that check if field name equals address type 1, sort by address type 1, etc. So I'm going to copy those script steps and come over to TextMate. There are several ways you can pull that clipboard object into TextMate. The first, and probably longest way actually, is to create a TextMate document, you come in through the bundles menu, through the FileMaker bundle, and find the command get snippet from clipboard. You'll notice we also have a keyboard shortcut for that, option command B. So let's run that, and you'll see we have our object in TextMate now as an XML document. But there's other ways. For example, let's just press that command, option command B. Now in this case, there are several bundles that have that keyboard shortcut. So we need to tell it which command we really meant. I'm going to press 1 to tell it that I meant the command in the FileMaker bundle. And there we have another document with the object in it. Another way to find that command is to pull up TextMate's search window by pressing Control command t I can search for any command that's available to me. So let's search for a get clipboard. You can see our command shows up. I'll press Enter, and we have the object again. Lastly, you can just run an Apple script, which I'll provide on the project wiki, and that'll create the TextMate document for you. So I have it saved in this case to my desktop. I'll run that and it creates the document for us. Other things you could do is to store the Apple script in your scripts menu and call it from up in the menu bar, scripts menu. Or you could just call it with a launcher like Quicksilver or Butler. So now that we have this text in TextMate, you'll notice that it's a temporary file. It's saved for us. And the text is recognized as being in the language FileMaker Clipboard. Now if we change this to something like C, TextMate would treat it differently thinking it was C code. So we need to make sure that this is designated as a FileMaker clipboard. And that's done for us, so you probably won't need to worry about it. And since this is XML, we can run commands from the XML bundle. A particularly useful one is the tidy command. So I'll press Control shift h and it'll clean up the text for us and make it easier to read. So you can see we have an FMXML snippet with a series of step elements. Now this format will change depending on the object you've copied to the clipboard. But in this case, you can see the first step is the set variable step. You can fold that up and go on and see that the next step is the if step. You can just go through and see everything you need to know about that step. The calculation here. And then details about the sort step. For demonstration purposes, let's just change the name of that variable. So here I've pulled up TextMate's search window, and I can replace that with some other name. We also have regular expressions available to us, so you can get pretty robust in your operations here. I'm just going to replace all, the simple replace, and you'll see that there are 34 occurrences replaced. And it selects the last occurrence for us. Now to get this modified version of the object back into FileMaker, I need to find another command from the FileMaker bundle, and it's called load snippet to clipboard. And you'll see when I run this, the tooltip came up saying that it was in an unrecognized format. The reason that occurred is because I still have my simple string selected. And for that command to work, I need to select all of the text or none of it. So I'm going to run that again by pressing Command-B. And the tooltip at the bottom tells us that the snippet was copied correctly. So let's go over back into FileMaker and see what we got. Here we go. The field, the variable name has been changed. And that's really all there is to it. The rest is really up to your imagination. In future videos, I'll show you some of the other commands available to us to actually generate some of these objects. Thank you, and happy FileMaking.